Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, I've been in the process of putting headers in this thing, and I wasn't going to video any of this, because there's plenty of videos on YouTube about putting headers in a Jeep, okay, but none with these headers here. They're inexpensive headers, and I know that they're not. And the problem I have is fitment. If you look right here, the misfit on that, and the misfit on this, which is not too bad, but this is the bad part right here. This is actually hitting the intake, and I can't get the intake on because of these. And these were sold to fit this Jeep. And obviously they don't. What I'm going to have to do, and I've already messaged the manufacturer where I got them from and everything else, which are not, not that cheap, but I do like the stainless steel part of them, this, that, and the other thing. Uh, I can't get my intake on. So, what I believe is these three here were welded too high on the intake or on the mounting plate. What you're going to see here in the future, and I am going to post a video on this, is I'm going to bring this down. I'm probably going to cut these and I'm going to bring these down too and re-weld them. Because it, it's like it's hitting right here on this one too. And it's kind of a shame because I do like them. They do line up pretty good here, except for that misfitment on there, and I think that's because they didn't weld it or fit it right on here. The problem is, I've contacted the seller, and he has not gotten back with me. I'm not going to divulge who that is or anything like that. That's that's neither here nor there. Probably the set he sends me back will probably be just as bad as these. So you can see the misfit on this where it could stand to go down. It's hitting right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undercut these, bring them down, fold them on my welding plate or, or lock it down hard and uh, bring them down to where they're going to miss the intake. If you buy a set of these, chances are you're going to run into this problem. And I wasn't going to post anything on this. There's just tons of videos on how to put headers on and everything else. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really cheap out, but it was, you know, it was just like too good to be true. They were still fairly expensive, but they weren't like the banks or, you know, any of these five or six hundred dollar headers. Uh, the tube sizes are the same. Uh, but this, these three here is hitting right here on the intake and it's hitting right here on this one. So I've got plenty of room to come down on these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up, slice up, slice up, bend down and keep tweaking and tacking until I get good fitment with my intake. Just to let you all know, if you all do buy a set of these and I would like to hear from y'all if somebody else bought a set of these and you couldn't get them to work or you had to do what I'm fixing to do to get them to work or if you have any suggestions uh, on how you did it I would really like to hear it I really really would because they, they're tacked on the outside here and then they're welded on the inside which is fine and dandy uh, some of them are welded a lot right here, and <laughs> some of them, so when I got them, they were kind of sketchy, but they were welded on the inside, which, like I said, is fine, uh, but I will have to modify these to get them to fit, and you can see right here the misalignment on the down tube, so that's kind of what I think happened, it rolled up on them, or they didn't 
you know, fit it right or whatever. So that's what I'm going to do. The video you're going to see after this is actually the running of the uh, remote control lawnmower. The motor heated up and uh, that's it up under there. It does work. I've ordered a new motor for it because somebody remembers us putting that motor on like a hundred volts DC and spinning the hell out of it. And then somebody else come back and said, a friend of mine which knows uh, a good bit about DC motors, he said, well, you probably screwed the fields up on it. That's the reason it's lost its torque. So I'm not going to buy another motor like that. I'm actually going to buy a stronger motor. It's going to work great. It really is. So that short video behind this is that. And uh, I'm going to post another video on me doing this. If you had trouble with these, uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you what the fix is. Uh, like I said, the manufacturer or the seller or whatever, he is pretty much useless on this. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, more videos to come on this and that. I had bad leaking problems on my stock, but I've got like huge, uh, where's the intake at? I don't even know where the intake's at. <laughs> anyway, it's somewhere. There it is over there. It's jet chipped. Uh, it's got a huge, the biggest intake that you can put on it. It's got the spiral plate on it, everything. I got a Banks exhaust system on it. And uh, I should have probably went with Banks headers, but I didn't. I went with these because they look really nice. They're cool. The bad thing is you'll never see them after the intake's on. So that's it in a nutshell. So watch the video on the lawnmower. I'm waiting on the motor to come in. I'm going to put it on, and that baby's going to be ripping and rearing. So hit like and subscribe. <laughs> We're going to have some fun. Hello boys and girls, it is just, it has been raining down here, I've got standing water right here, I've been tracking mud through there, but I've got to test this thing, I don't care what anybody says, it's got to get tested, I'm just like a kid with a new toy here, it hasn't cut grass, I have run it through the yard without the motor on it, so there we go. But it's not so wet over here. So, and the grass is high. All right. Here goes nothing. Well, I had a semi-successful test, and there's no doubt that the front motor heated up in the wet grass, which that's understandable, and 
I've got to do in another modification I need to do to it is uh, put the battery box on the back wheels over the back wheels so I'm going to change that and I'm going to try it again when it's not so wet and see if the front motor does better if not I'm going to have to go to a bigger motor or a new motor just like that because that motor wore out two sets of batteries in a razor uh, having a fat kid going up and down the street all day and it's been in my shop now for about six to eight to ten years so no reason it, it, it good reason it probably heated up but I wanted the weight over the front tires you make sure it you know but they sunk so deep in the grass and the front started hitting it it just overpowered the motor so that being said I got some new projects I'm going into I'm going to put that in the back deck I'm gonna get that done and I'll be waiting for some drier weather because it's still I mean you can see it's just muddy as hell right here and we got a lot of rain coming tonight so I cut a little bit of grass over there with it you saw in the video and uh, it's just really bad and I finished cutting that with a push mower just so my dachshunds have some place to go out and go to the bathroom so but anyway please hit like and subscribe we're not done with it by far it's going to be a lot of fun it's just I got to get the motor and the weight distribution out which you're gonna run into issues like that in anything you do I'm definitely gonna have that to cut grass this year now they make bigger motors that might be an option that's a hundred watt motor they got a 203 350 280 250 280 is like a third of a horsepower that'd be more than enough for this but I still need to move the battery box to the back and I think this motor will do fine uh, I'm gonna do that first right now I've got some stuff to do to my Jeep long weighted stuff that needs to be done I don't really post videos on any of that but I might on this this particular one because I'm gonna be replacing a broken exhaust manifold with some headers and stuff like that putting an electric fan on it I got shock bushings that need to be replaced so I'm gonna have to get that in here and that takes up the whole damn shop so like I said guys hit like and subscribe we're not done with it by a long ways and uh, Yes, it's going to work and it's going to be fun. Y'all have a good day.